I was on the prevailing side of the uh, HHR. I was on the prevailing side of sports. And both of them I had reasons for. And it's going to be kind of odd that about what I'm going to say, but to the gentleman from Perry, uh, you're correct. We are picking winners and losers with this bill. For over 30 years, we've had these machines in my C stores, up the hollers, as the gentleman from Jefferson stated, Stinking Creek, in one of his statements. That's in my county. Uh, they have these machines in the C stores, the grocery stores up in Stinking Creek. And I can tell you right now, and I'm gonna, I don't have a crystal ball, from the gentleman from Fayette, but I will say this. If you take these machines as you're doing today and picking the winners and the losers, you're gonna pick a lot of losers out there. You're fixing to shut down a lot of businesses. And you may say, well, I really didn't know it was gonna happen. Well, I'm giving you a little foresight. It's gonna happen. They're gonna close up. But I wanted you to know, I wanna to try to stay consistent in this body. I vote for things, package stores, because I'd rather have a package store than a bootlegger up the holler. I'd rather have it regulated. And all I'm asking you for, if we defeat this today, give it a chance to see if it's something that we want to regulate, that we want to give our chance to the C stores to make it. And let's come to the table. We haven't debated this. We're just saying, let's get rid of it. But I'm going to try to stay consistent as a member here to say, Let's have a reason for our vote. And I want you to know, as I told you in the HHR, you was fixing to shut down horse tracks and send people home. I was fighting for the industry, not for gaming. I told you they already gamble at a horse track. But today we have these machines in your community. And isn't it ironic that the uh, Fraternal Order of Police have endorsed keeping these machines, Mr. Speaker? Isn't that kind of a, should that not throw up a flag? Let's slow down and see if we need to debate this issue and not throw it out. And I have a, the most respect for you, gentlemen from Fayette. It has nothing to do with a personal issue. It has to do with my people. And yes, I've told my good friends, come up with a bill that does away with the sins of Kentucky and I'll vote for it. But if we have it, let's regulate it. And we have people that are dependent on these machines in their business the same way the lottery depends on our income for, for scholarships. How do we justify sins of the world? We say we want to pass it on, it's going to help another group. That's how we justify sin, is somebody's going to benefit from it. All I am standing here to tell you for, I'm for regulations. We have sports betting. We've had it for years in Kentucky. As a gentleman said, $2 billion a year. Let's regulate it. Let's make it to where we understand it. And if we don't like it, then pass a bill to do away with it. But let's just not go in there and pick winners and losers because we're being pushed from one organization or the other. They can't make it. I'm going to tell you right now, a, lot, a C store cannot make it on lottery proceeds on what they sell. I don't know what the percentage is, but it's very minute. It's a small percentage of what they get for passing on those lottery tickets. But they do make some money off these machines to pay their electric bill, pay their employees, pay for their services that they provide there in the store for their goods. They do make it by that. So I want to be consistent here today and go home and say, yes, I voted for this, but I also stood for this. I don't think it's right that we go and tell somebody that they're going to close up because we were looking further ahead at another organization. Be, let's, all I'm asking you to do is just think about it. I'm not telling you how to vote. I'm just telling you where I stand in my community and that it is a presence in my community. It may not even be in yours, so be it. But if it is in yours, let's take a step back and let's take this under debate and take it through the due process 
to see if it needs to be in these stores. And not just take a hatchet to it and say, you're done, you're over with. Let's do the same thing that we've done with these other bills. Let's give them a chance to at least have a voice. They've come up here, they don't have the lobbyist. They're not ganged up and, and hire the top lobbyist to come and beat your door down and say, here's why we need them. No, they are in the back room. They're not sitting out front. Most of them are in the back room. They don't sit there and push it on people. And again, I'm not promoting, promoting the gaming side of it. I'm promoting the business side to say, let's not pick the winners and losers in this business. And let's give them an opportunity to have a voice up here, go through the due process, and let's have hearings on it. Heck, you may have a different uh, frame of mind about them once you hear about what they do for a community or what they do for, for a uh, business. We hear about people wanting to have fundraisers. This may be an attempt for them to do that, run it through charitable and have a chance to have fundraisers with it. They can already do poker through the, lot, through the uh, bingo license. They can already do poker. They can already do uh, gaming through those licenses. Maybe we need to recreate a license for them. What I'd like to see is local control. I'd like to see it be passed back to the counties, and if they want it, pass it, take the revenue, put it through the sheriff's department, and let's fund our, our uh, officers in our schools. We're taking the other money and using it for things and saying we're going to do this type of a, a program to pay for this. I'm saying all that to say let's have a debate on it. And again, vote however you want to, shut them down. I'm just telling you where I'm at. I'm trying to stay consistent on my votes here and try to stay that we have a lot of different fractions involved and let's not pick winners and losers in it. Let's give everybody the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.